Welcome to Strip Cover Lid, I'm Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And today we have something very near and dear to my heart Ooh. to deliver and to announce. This is new. This is This new. is fresh. This is big for us. This is, one might say, hot and sticky. Ooh. Hashtag hot and sticky. We will be announcing our writing challenge coming up. Yes. What are we calling it, Adrian? Hot and Sticky Summer Novel Writing Challenge. The Hot and Sticky Summer Novel Writing Challenge. What is that? Okay, so NaNoWriMo is one hell of an experience, right? Yes, it is. Uh, it is a great practice, but it is very, very difficult. And a lot of people don't finish. Um, because at 1,667 words a day, you barely have time to go to the movies, to read anything at all, to do anything in your daily life besides get home from work, read, shower, go to bed. Maybe you didn't eat dinner. <laughs> Let me plug a little story real quick. I wanted to do NaNoWriMo in 2015. Yes, Dalton did. And this was right before we were going to launch Strip Cover Lit, and we were like rolling around with the ideas for this. I said, Adrian, let's do this, it'll be fun. And you said, Dalton, shut the hell up. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. I did. So we did it. Yep. And we did well for like two weeks. And then everything went haywire. And that's a lot of work. That's a lot of words in a day. It's a, lo it's a lot of words in a day. It's a lot to abandon once you, because my story was I ended up having to work like 14 or 15 days straight. Um, and there was a couple overnights sprinkled in. I just didn't get there. Exactly. Right? And then you are a writer. Whether you like to admit it or not, you are a published writer, you actively write, you actively publish. An author. You're an author. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, that was difficult for you. I am not. I don't do this as often as you. I stray away from this. I always have. Coming in from a fresh perspective, this was hell on earth. Right. So let's do it over a summer. Now, hold on. I think that NaNoWriMo is a great practice. It is. It is. But it's a lot of words to abandon when you don't make it. I will it's say. It's also, the worst part of NaNoWriMo is you get through a month where you wrote 1,667 words per day. You wrote 1,667 words per day, and at the end of the month, you don't even have a novel. That's 50,000 words. Novels are technically 60,000 words. It's a great practice. Yes. I wrote more in that month than I ever had. But I think we could utilize time better. Yes. So, the Hot and Sticky Summer Novel Writing Challenge. Yes. For book two, 488 words a day. 488 words a day over the months of June, July, August, and September. That's a commitment. That's it four is. months. But at 488 words a day, that is little to no time. That roughly translates to two pages of writing? Right. In, in the novel format, that's about two pages of writing. Okay. Now, now you want to say, how does that happen when most of the novels I read are 300 pages, right? Like, that's the, the average novel is about 300 pages. It's simply because those novels are more than 60,000 words, right? Okay. Like, sounds redundant to say. I think it's necessary to get out there. Uh, but let's break it down. Some of your favorite novels, All Quiet on the Western Front. 61,922 words. The Sun Also Rises, 67,707 words. The Great Gatsby, 50,000 words. That's a NaNoWriMo novel. Slaughterhouse Five, 46,000 words. As I, As I Lay Dying, 57,000 words. The Road by Cormac McCarthy, 59,000 words. The Catcher in the Rye, 73,000 words. So at 488 words a day, we hit 60,000. Starting June 1st all the way to the end of September, in your summer, which normally we spend doing nothing but just uh, drinking and wasting time. Talk about yourself. You'll have a novel, a fully written novel ready for editing, and you will be a writer. And, and I think it's important also to point out that you will have, look, I, I've done this before. I did a summer novel writing challenge before. You're living in that story every day. Yes. It's different when you're doing that for 1,667 words per day versus when you're doing that for 488. Okay. Because after that first month, you drop that NaNoWriMo, right? And you forget about it. You forget about it. It gets out of your head. When you're living in it for a shorter period of words over a longer period of time, 
you were allowed to concentrate on your day's writing more. And those characters, that story, the setting, and the, the story going on evolves in your mind as you go. Now, when we did NaNoWriMo, the hardest thing for me was there were days where I'd sit down and as, as a practiced writer, I won't say I'm good, but I'm very practiced. I've written a lot in my life. To sit down and say, some of these words, I just got to get them out because I got to meet a word count. They're not quality. It's not quality. You're meeting it a be- word count. It becomes symbols on paper. But that is a good thing. The word count is a good habit to develop. Absolutely. And in four months' time, writing 488 words in a day, you've developed a writing habit. Yes. You will be able to easily sit down and burn through 500 words. Let's say you get 700 a day. You hit 1,000. Great. You're going to have a longer novel. But you, you got a little word, flack. Yeah. You hit your words the next day or you try to. But you're doing a word count a day, and that's what's important. So how are we going to pull this off, Adrian? I think what we are going to be doing is we're going to be participating as well. Yes. We're going to be doing the 488 words a day from June 1st to the end of September. We'll be giving updates along the way, uh, how our novel's developing, challenges we've come across, maybe some writing tips, writing strategy, strategies, uh, important things for people doing this program. Twitter. Twitter is a great tool. You need to get on Twitter. You need to follow us at Strip Cover. And on there, we will be using the hashtag, hashtag hot and sticky. Hot and sticky or hot in sticky? Hot and sticky. Hot I and. checked it. It's relatively safe. We'll take it over. <laughs> In that hashtag, we will be giving you tips, strategies, updates on our word count for the day, updates on what we're doing, and we highly, highly encourage you to do the same. Let us know how many words you got in the day, hashtag hot and sticky. What are you enjoying? What are you struggling with? How are things going in general? All of these things. Hashtag hot and sticky. Because we want to make this a community. This is a community. We focus on readers a lot. All of BookTube is about readers. Let's give something to the writers. Let's give something to the readers who want to create something for the next generation of readers. Here's another big part of this. If you consider yourself a reader but not a writer, put yourself out there this one time. Being a writer allows you to more fully appreciate your readership because you get into to once you get into writing you understand what it takes to get there you understand how one makes the journey through a novel as a writer and it adds to your appreciation as a whole of what you're reading on the page so up until june we're going to try to pepper in some videos here and there writing strategies how to plan your novel uh, different things work for different people it's all about you so maybe you want to listen to some of our strategies give them a shot that's great Uh, More importantly, on this video, on this announcement, let us know down below if you're in. If you're going to be making this commitment to do the Hot and Sticky Summer Novel Challenge, you're going to be doing those 488 words a day, and hopefully we'll hear back from you later on through the challenge. We'll bounce some ideas around, and we'll see where this goes. We don't hope to. We expect to hear from you. Ooh, look at that. Uh, And I, I hope that no one has written this off already. If you are in the place right now where you are doubting your involvement in the project, chew on it. Sit down tomorrow, write 488 words of anything, see how it feels. Get into the practice and the habit a little bit early and just see what's going on when you're putting pen to paper, when you're typing on the keyboard. Typewriter. You hipster. I know. 488 words a day, that's nothing. Once you sit down and actually write that, you will be surprised how many words you're getting down before. Dalton's talking a big game. I, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. A lot of people are going to learn a lot. Now, here's something that we're going to do that's a little bit different. We always say, hey, subscribe, strip, cover, lit, whatever. Uh, subscription or not. Yeah. This one video, share with your friends. Let them know this project's going on. Let them know this is going to be an ongoing thing. And let's build a big community of writers in BookTube, which is something that we don't have right now. I'm sure they're there. They're there. We're, we're all in the closet about and it. And we've met a few people on here. Uh, Peter Clark, the writer. Yeah. Look at it. It's in his name. Erica These, from Perks of Books does not consider herself a writer. She's a writer. It's in there. It's in there. Give this a shot. See what happens. Learn a little bit something about yourself. 
And like I said, worst case scenario, by the end of September, you have a novel. Amy, I'm expecting you to participate in this too. And out of the corner of my eye, I'm realizing just how much you look like Seth Rogen when you've got a five o'clock shadow. Thank you very much. I actually get that quite a lot. Anyway. Anyway. The Hot and Sticky Summer Novel Writing Challenge. Hashtag Hot and Sticky on Twitter. Let us know below if you're in, because we're in, and we'll be letting you know soon, hopefully, what we're going to be writing about and how we're going to do it.